Hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and today we're gonna test out different barrel lengths. I didn't find any good video about this on YouTube for airsoft revolvers or CO2, so I decided to make one myself. Now, it's not that easy to test this because you need the same gun with the same air pressure system, also with the same ammo, and then you need that gun with different barrel lengths. And I am not going to saw off my barrel of my Don Wesson. But luckily I found this Smith & Wesson model 29 in three different barrel lengths. And here they are. We have the 3 inch version, the 6.5 inch and the 8.5 inch. And we're gonna compare them against each other. Now I did not buy all three of them because that would be way too expensive. So this video is actually sponsored by Van Nieuwenhuizen in Wetteren, Belgium. And this is where I buy most of my stuff. They have almost everything. Hunting gear, clothes, crossbows, all sorts of knives. Nice. Air rifles with pellets. Also every pellet in the world you can find here. PCP guns that work on 350 bars of pressure so they produce over 100 joules of energy and also real guns and lots and lots of airsoft pistols and revolvers. Oh, and guys, the 8-inch version of the Don Wesson is back in stock. Alright, let's go back to the video. Here they are next to each other, so you can see the difference. All three of these revolvers are from the brand Umarex and they all use 4.5mm steel BBs and CO2 capsules. And here's the difference in weight. The 3 inch version weighs just over 1 kilo or 36.8 ounce. The 6.5 inch version weighs 1141 gram or 40.2 ounce and the eight and a half inch version weighs exactly 1200 gram or 1 1.2 kilo or 42.3 ounce now let's try out the triggers and this is very weird because they all have the same trigger mechanism but the smallest gun has the most heavy trigger to pull over and the biggest revolver the eight and a half inch has the lightest trigger all right time to put some co2 into the revolvers And now a sound comparison. And now we're gonna load up all three guns with 4.5 millimeter steel BBs from Umarex. All right, all shells are loaded up. All right, let's see if we have any difference in FPS. The science behind it goes as follow. Yes, science. Okay. 
because you have a longer barrel the air pressure inside can build up more and therefore you should have more fps and power and also because the projectile is traveling through a longer tube you should have more accuracy also but is that really true let's find out so first i'm gonna load up the three inch revolver and then we're gonna do the six and a half inch and then the eight and a half inch And now we're gonna do the FPS test on the six and a half inch. And now the final revolver, the eight and a half inch. And here are the results. The 3 inch version had an average FPS of 365. And the 6 inch version was 386. And the 8 inch version had an average FPS of 392. So yeah, the science behind it is correct. Yes, science! And now it's time for the accuracy test. I think you guys are dying to know the results. To make sure the results are accurate and consistent, I'm going to secure the revolvers in a vise. And the shooting will be done inside so we don't have any crosswinds and I will be shooting from 10 meters away. Here I was just practicing uh, because I had to find a way to secure the gun and also line it up with the target. And here are the final results. This is the result of the 3 inch version and as you can see it did rather poorly. And this is the result of the 6.5 inch and that's a way better result and then finally the eight and a half inch and believe it or not that's an even better result look how close those bullet holes are and here they are next to each other for a comparison so that's another win for science yes science okay so, which one of these three revolvers would you buy? Or do you already have one? If so, which one? And also, which revolver looks best on me? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. You all have a nice day now. And maybe do a small donation to support my work. Do it. Like and subscribe, punks.